what up y'all it's crossed up again i i just want to um react to a few videos tonight so that i can get a couple out there for people to watch um and tell me what they think uh i'm not gonna lie to y'all i accidentally listened to this song already and then i deleted the original video while i was uploading it so i kind of got to listen to it again but the first time i heard it was fantastic I, I enjoyed it it's not my favorite song by him but it's really good um this artist i'm gonna react to his name is ishan burgundy and if you don't know anything about ishan burgundy he's a very unique artist he uh He's got a great flow, and, you know, he's he's very talented. He's, he does other things other than just rap. Like, in the beginning, with God Over Money, he made a couple other videos. So, like, he, he recorded their videos and edited them for them. Uh, obviously, he probably didn't do it for free, but he, he's... He, a couple of his old, their older videos, he definitely did. He and he's been rapping for I probably known about him for like seven years. He's got a couple of really good songs. Like I really like the song called Sandcastles that he made, and the beat on it is so unique. It's uh, it starts off and it starts skipping, and about halfway through the skipping, it actually transitions into the beat with the skip, and it's a phenomenal beat for the song. And then he kills the song itself, um, but. I, I actually accidentally already heard this song. This is uh, Ishan Burgundy. It's called Street Dreams from his new album called Joppa. So the rest of the album I don't think has been released yet, but this is his single on it. So let's check it out. I really like the ad libs in the beginning. A prophet is not without honor. Playing his own country. Among his own family. Yep. And in his own house. Amen. His flaw off the beings fire. Teach to the killer in the street, to the villain in the beef. But the semen don't repeat. Got a profit on it. Prop, prop, prop. Got a profit on it. Prop, prop, prop. Got a profit on it. Reach to the lost and scattered sheep. Better wake them up if they sleep. When they hear the spirit speak, put a profit on it. I cry, cry. Put a profit on it. I'm familiar with the streets of the beast that peace that still amongst adolescent G's they teach to kill. Yeah, start yep. crescent on my neck as my brother thought he was blessing me with lessons till I stepped into freedom spill. Stepping over corners on corners who got caught in them traps. Thought they was on it, but Tom they come with all the success. They missed the formats and warrants, all they saw was the checks. Bringing a yep. weed on the Bible, ignoring the text. Ooh. I see the Lord. He said, breaking up weed on the Bible, ignoring the text. Like, that's such a huge line because we need we need to get back into the word as a country. Like, right now, people are regarding Christ as nothing as some myth or some fairy tale, and it's just nonsense. You know, historically, if you look into it, the more we conform to Christ, the more, you know, our society has, ha has been... The best it's ever been yeah we've had moments in history where even christians were doing things that they shouldn't have but they weren't listening to god but you have to understand that like morally we got to get back to the word and 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 submit to the lord and that's kind of what he's saying he's saying that right now the people in the streets are considering it useless almost like they're willing to even break up weed on the bible like I've heard of other people talk about like storing cash from drugs in their Bibles and like like how blasphemous in one sense, but at the same time it just shows you that we don't regard it highly anymore as much as we should. And he's kind of just saying in the street that's what they need, but they're not they're not reading. They're not you know, that they, they don't see the need for it. And we repent because the blood shed for sin. He's he's basically saying all those people that disregard. He's I think he's talking about himself. You know, eventually, like hopefully, they come to faith and and the Holy Spirit fills their fills that void in their lives. And 
you know, that's that's real deep for him to say. The whole time he was, you know, his family was sad for him. He, you know, he was disregarding all of this. And, and then all of a sudden you look and, you know, we came to faith and, you know, Christ saved him. Now upon us, seek to the killer in the street, to the villain in the deep. It's a really nice hook. Got a profit on it. Got a profit on it. Got a profit on it. Reach to the lost and scattered sheep. Better wake them up if they sleep. When they hear the spirit speak, put a profit on it. Yeah. Put a profit on it. Put a profit on it. Put a profit on it. I said she went for the movie for care. Tell her repent for the end of this snare. Right in the air. Make sure it's clear. Tell her repent for the end of this snare. I said she went for some two people care. Tell her repent for the end of this snare. But what if I'm scared? Cause I got fear. I got fear. Nobody wants to be here. Oof. So he goes, tell him to repent for the end is near. But I can't because I got the fear. And then he says, nobody wants to be hated. That's so crazy. As a Christian, we are called to share the gospel. And he's saying nobody wants to be hated because he knows, like biblically it says, the more we share truth, the more they're going to hate you. The world hates the truth. And he's saying, repent for the end is near. So we, so that's such a scary thing to tell people because, I mean, if you look around, it's clear right now. But he's saying, repent for the end is near. But nobody wants to be hated. So like Christians in America right now, we're so scared to preach the word. But if you look into like China or Iran or all these places, these Christians are being killed and beaten. Because they're sharing the truth. Because what they believe is real. They die for their faith every single day. Like people are beaten for their faith every single day. And he's saying nobody wants to be hated. And he's talking about American Christians are gonna are ostracized socially only. Like that's so weak of us. But in reality, you know, we need to share the gospel. And I like that he basically said repent for the end is near. You know, basically don't listen to the fear because the fear is what's going to hold us back. We need to share the gospel of Christ. Uh, let's continue. Nobody wants to be hated. 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 Oh, I like that little ad lib. Mm. Like I said, all in all, I thought it was a really good song. Like I said, it's, it's probably not my favorite song, but it's definitely would be on the playlist. I can definitely listen to it here and there. Uh, I thought it was a pretty straightforward message of his life. And then, obviously, like, at the very end, he's talking about Christians. Like, we got to preach the gospel. Like, who cares if we're, if we're quote-unquote hated by the world as long as we're obedient to Christ? Um, and hopefully people will come to faith, you know? My, my, uh, history is not really been, I've only had few people come at me with real hateful, you know, like, like coming at me about Christ hatefully. Normally it's two, one of two things. People are either indifferent and don't care about me, you know, preaching to them. Like they're like, okay, cool. But like, I'm going to do whatever anyway. Or there's a void in their heart and they're really looking for Christ. And, you know, you just water that seed and it, you don't know where it could go from there. But the reality is, is the devil is the one that convinces us that the moment we preach the gospel, we're going to be hated. Now, now in the long run, I mean, persecution's going to happen, but we got to stop being afraid of what's in our mind. Like Pastor Dean always says, what's in your head tends to be worse than, than reality. Now, <laughs> eventually it might not be, but... For now, we the devil gets into our minds, and we and we are fearful because of that. But we can't be like that. Um, I don't know if I said it, but I'm gonna in the description. I'm actually gonna put the link to the songs, so they can get so that if you want to watch the original video, you can. Um, I want them to get the view as well. Like I'm, I'm glad that people are viewing me, but I don't want it to just be my view. So, um. Uh, turn on your notifications, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, I, I, I try to do, you know, real thought-provoking, um, 
real thought provoking responses to these. So, uh, just let me know what you want to see. Uh, put up some, uh, comments that tell me what you want me to react to and, uh, you know, peace out.